limit order how to use the market order how to use the stop limit and uh, yes and uh, the measure you should be looking at is the limit order and the stop limit those are the two major ones that i will be saying that you should be looking into so just pay attention to this video so the first one is the limit order so what is the limit order what is the limit order a limit order is to buy or sell at a specific price limit order are not guaranteed to go to be executed so limit order is just like what you are willing to give or take for from the market it's just like you are the one who is going to make your choice and uh, and not all the times that your limit order gets to be executed and not all the times that it's get executed so it's not a guarantee that your limit order will be executed so that's why when you put it at the right time at the right price that means you are sure it will be executed but the market is guaranteeing you nothing it's just based on your side so let's say when the current price a increases let me not just take that now limit order let's say you want to sell you want to sell using the limit order the same thing that is happening on the sell is the same way it's happening on the buy the same way it is on the sell is the same way on the buy there's no differences so we are just going to stick on the sell side okay so let's say you want to use your limit order to buy there is something you should really consider guys limit order is sometimes fast sometimes fast so that's why you have to be careful with what you're doing so you want to use your limit order you've already bought you bought and you want to use the limit order and you believe that this market is going to come to this price that's 0 0.09230 so you just go straight put 0 0.09230 so you believe that the market will reach here then you execute you sell when you sell your order will not be taken immediately until it gets to your price that's when your order will be taken but where it is not guaranteed is that if it doesn't get to this price your order will not be taken so the same way it's on the buy if for instance you want to buy below here below the current price you want to buy here it 0 0.08866 and you went to open order at that 0 0.08866 if the market gets to that point your order will be taken but if the market didn't get there your order will not be taken so that's why it's not guaranteed so it's just very simple so that's that's it for the limit order now let's go to the next one the market now the market order is an immediate match to the best available price so but they call it the best i don't think it's the best i actually hate this market order because it's it will destroy your account so why do I say that? Why well, I don't really like it? Let me just show you something. Let me show you something. For those who use market order, they get to pay more. They get to pay more than the one who is making, who's using the limit order or the stop loss. Okay. The market limit, there's what we call bot. The bot, the bot traders. The bot traders, when you use them, uh, <laughs> the, the market price, when you use the market, they are going to front run you. If you are selling, if you are using the, the, the market and you are selling, they are going to front run you. For instance, you want to sell with the market order at this price. Immediately, the, the bot will push you down you might sell lower here but you think you are selling here you sell lower here 
So the bot is going to push you down and you sell lower. So that's why it's not really good. I don't really like the, the, the market order. Then if you are buying, if you are buying, if it's on the buy side, if you use the market order, the bot is going to push you up, push your price up. And they will buy you up. They will give you the, the price at the top. So which is not really good. So the bot front runs you whenever you are using the, the market order. So that's why I don't really use the market order. But if you want an immediate and quick and fast sales, you can just use the market order. And the market will match you with the available price. But I don't really use it. So, But for the, for the major class for today, which is the stop loss, where I want everyone to pay attention to, is the stop loss so how do you best use a stop loss a stop limit order is an order that has both a stop limit price and a limit price when the stop price is reached it triggers the limit order so now let's go and see how it works into the charts the stop limit the same way just like i said before the same way it works in the sell is the same way it works in the buy. The same way it works in the sell is the same way it works in the buy. So let's say, for instance, we bought this market here. Let's just say we bought it at 0 0.091. That's 0 0.9100. That's where we bought the, the, the market. So let me just give you my own definition for a limit order. If it's on the sell side, how much are you willing to, to, to sacrifice if the market is coming down? How much are you willing to sacrifice if the market is coming down, then to stock you out? Sometimes, when you are using the limit order, you have to be very careful and very sure of the price you are using. That when it hits your price, it's going to keep going down. Sometimes... When you use the stop limit order, let me tell you the, the other side of it. When it hits the, the limit order, to stalk you out, then it will push back up, which everyone who is in the trading, who is in this crypto space and has tried that, would definitely testify to this. I've testified, I'm testifying to that too. There are times when you open, uh, when you use the stop limit, you'll be stuck out and the market will go back up. Boom. Then you'll be like, wow, I'm out and the market is back up. And there's nothing you can do. So that's why if you are using your limit order, you have to be so sure that if it stocks you out, it will still go down. So that is the other side of it. But the beautiful side of it, why it's called the stop limit order, is that once it stocks you out, once it stocks you out, if it keeps going down, you will not be losing so much. So let's say, for instance, you are willing to give up 3% of your capital and the market dips to like 10%. You've saved yourself like 7%. Do you see the beautiful part of it? So you save yourself like 7%. Instead of 10% loss, you save yourself like 7% like loss. So when you buy buy, you even buy higher than you used to have, than you had. So that's why the limit order is very beautiful. And... Uh, I would love you guys to learn it to know how to use it. So let's say we bought this market right now at the rate of 0 0.091. 0 0.091. And we want to use the stop limit because the market might go down. We don't know. So we're, we're just saying, okay, if the market comes down, we will be on a safer side. So we bought it at 0 0.091. So let our stop limit be below the lows the lower lows or the lower highs, but let it be below the lower the the next candle closing. Those, the 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 past history candle closings, just like here, I have two red candle closings here. So let me zoom in and uh, see more. Okay, so this is not really like a big deal. So I'm gonna use these and this. I'm gonna use these first. This should be zero point zero eight eight six two zero point zero eight eight six two and 0 0.849, 0 0.08862. So let the, let the one with the highest number come down. 0 
0.0862 and let the lowest come up 0 0.0862 two let's check if we correct so the first one i said the first one should be here 0 0.08862 which is the high then the lowest 0 0.086 let's just make it 0 0.08 okay i think i'm going to change my mind 0 0.08 0 0.0856 856 let me get 0 0.0 it is 0 0.0856 okay so take the amount then you take um take the percentage that you want to um open this other with so why now the low the the, the lower is going to come up because on the lower remember what i said here that the stop limit order is an order that has both a stop limit price and a limit price when the stop limit is reached when the stop limit is reached it triggers the limit order so when the stop limit is reached it triggers the limit order so these are stop limits when the stop limit is reached it triggers the limit order so our stop limit is down so when this price which is the stop limit at this top right now when this is reached then this one here will be triggered do you understand it now so that's why i'm saying that you should put the lower at the top and put the higher down so that it has to get to this one before your order can be cancelled so it's going to save you from actually losing so much. Uh, is that is that cool? I, this should be understanding. This is like, this should be very, very understanding. I think uh, it's very, very understanding. So that is it for how to use a stop loss. It also applies. You can even use this at the buying side. You can remember I told you you can use it on buy. You can use it on sell. Another beautiful thing is that it's not a must that you place the price low. You can even see pr place the price at the top. You can place the price. You can set one here. You can set one here. But just don't make it to be so. Don't make the the differences to be so so much. Just make it so. Not don't make it too tight. Don't make it too much. Don't make your stop limits too tight. Don't make your stop limits too far from each other. So I think this is our how to use it. If you have any question shoot me on the comment box come to the telegram channel there are people there who always answer your question and uh, subscribe to the channel hit the smash button hit the like hit the like button share this video and uh, treat safe guys see you next time